now. Topics and music that affect your life from Universal Broadcasting Network. Tune in at UBNRadio.com. Someday when I'm awfully low when the world is cold I like it I kind of like the music <laughs> but I was expecting Adam Levine my buddy and Maroon 5 and like who was that I was way into that. And that was listed in the UBN as Maroon 5, so I don't oh, know why. I kind of liked it. I think we it. need to go through that and change it. Oh, but I kind of liked it. Yeah. So everybody, welcome to What's Up with Linda What's and Deborah. And thanks for being patient and thanks for tuning in. We just changed our name. So yeah, we are deal. now. Right. It's like, we'll see if it lasts. Right. So, <laughs> <laughs> such, so different from What's Up, from Shut Up to What's Up. I'm not sure who we are. We don't but, know um, anymore. Yeah. So, but it was close enough to Shut Up. And we just thought it would be kind of fun. Maybe instead of being so irreverent, which we are anyway. Some people might have not enjoyed Shut Up in their face. I did. But I thought it was funny, but... I kind of like it, actually, so I'm sort of keeping it around just in case we feel like bringing it back. You never know with us. We but, change our mind every five minutes, don't right, we? But right now it's What's Up, because frankly, we don't really know what's up, so <laughs> that's the name of our new show. So um, thanks for tuning in, and also, if you can, we are in this issue of Ventura Boulevard magazine. You don't have a copy of that, do you? Did you, did you have that up there, Kurt, or no? There you go, Ventura Boulevard magazine, so go pick it up. Okay, or they're going to run out because we have so many fans who are going to pick right. This everyone's thing up. looking for it. Yeah, everybody is running <laughs> out. Okay, you can also v view it online with Ventura Boulevard, and there's our little picture. They took a picture here of us at the UBN Aren't we Studios. Cute? Yeah, so I just <laughs> wanted you guys to know that too. So you can find us everywhere here in the magazines. There's a couple of other. I think magazines that are coming in to do some um, right. We're going to be in a couple more magazines. We're, we're just going to town. We're just next. It's Vogue. I think we should make sure we have the right name though before. <laughs> <laughs> next, it's Vogue and Harper's Bazaar. Right. I mean, if you had to be in a magazine, what would it be? Um, I don't mind Vogue. I don't feel Vogueish though. Is that a word? I don't feel very stylish anybody, to be in Vogue. Anybody can be Vogueish. Okay. I, I need some stylists. Anybody want to help me I out? I want a really <laughs> great stylist to come back and do me because when I was modeling when I was younger, right. you don't even look like yourself. They just come in and they do this fabulous picture of you and all this great lighting and makeup and you're like, oh. Well, that That's a dream to have someone do my hair every day. I would be, love that. If anybody's listening, would be great. Like, I'm sure the top people will come in and do us right Yeah, I think we'll, we'll get the best. Everyone's <laughs> we'll, bombarding we'll, right now as we speak. We'll put Misty on that. Yeah. So, um, <laughs> We have a really cool oh, show. Oh, the show today is awesome. We're, we can't, are we going to start? Do you want to talk about what you did on Sunday? Or yeah. do you want to wait? I did. You know what? I'll talk about a little yeah. bit what I did okay. on Sunday. And then we're, we get all of our business behind Right. Us. And then we get the excitement show, exciting guests we have. You had an interesting Sunday. I did. I went to an event at Ron Burkle's house. Do we all know who Ron Burkle is? Okay. Uh, silence. Cricket. Okay, silence. <laughs> Sorry, Ron. No. You can, you can hardly. He's the guy. He's a philanthropist, number one. And he's um, he's the one that you always read about is flying around with Bill Clinton and doing a lot of business with Bill Clinton, all sorts of business with Bill Clinton. But mm -hmm. he is a philanthropist and he's a, a very generous man. And he uh, donated his home for the Rape Center. I was at, a, I was at a, an event for the Rape Center. It was a terrific event, very Big well turnout. attended, mm. an enormous turnout, you know, and it was nice to see when famous people come out and lend their name and they actually show up. That's really nice. You yeah. really know, you know, um, David Schwimmer, MC from the Friends. Event, from Friends. He's a nice guy. Adorable. He was really adorable. And so he was there, and then uh, Jane Fonda rubbed a little elbows with her, and yes, she looks gorgeous. And I know you could say, ah. She never ages. She really does. We gotta find her secret sauce. I think She's she, amazing. She is amazing, because she keeps active. That's right, why. She She's does. really, really active. I don't even know how old she is, right? But she looks great. She's very stylish. And she, you know, Rosanna Kett, a whole bunch, uh, Lionel Richie, he was adorable. I talked to him for a little while. I mean, what do you talk to somebody like that? So you're yeah. having a grand old time with yeah. the A-listers, and I'm at Waffle House in Encino. <laughs> <laughs> but I called that, you. That's the the contrast with Devon. <laughs> I called Wait, is you there though. a Waffle House in Encino? No, it's actually it's actually <laughs> called Everything But Waffles, or uh, one okay. of the it's the best breakfast place. Gotta get just, excited. Yeah, no, it was really good. It's, waffles well, and chicken. It's funny you. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny you said that because I tend to be. This is hard to believe. Really, really shy, and when I'm at events like that, and I'm not with a friend. 
um, I will tend to step in the background. So I actually called Linda and I said, I wish you were here because I don't know what to say to anybody. And she's like, yes, you can. Oh, yes, so you can. I'm it, texting her. Go for it. Stand tall. So um, I kind of pretended she was right next to me. And then I went through the rest of my day and had a really, really nice time and learning more about the Rape Center. Mm -hmm. They do a lot of great work for young women, uh, Great all cause. kinds of women. Um, they probably raised a lot of money. They on raised Sunday. a tremendous amount of money, mm -hmm. which is what they were, what they mm -hmm. wanted to do. And I went there on behalf of a friend of mine. And um, I'm going to go again next year. I really want to get involved. It was a great organization. So that was my weekend while you were at the Waffle House. Yeah, I'm at the Waffle Everything but Waffles. That's the name of it in Encino. Great place. Yeah, and then Plug I'm going to go on. Uh, I'm with kids at Waffle, eating waffles. And you're hobnobbing with the... Yeah, but doing a good cause. That's the yeah, thing. That's and, good. and telling people about our magazine, too. So they can so, listen and hear about Oh, yeah. Like and so the guest today, uh, Rock and Roll. we got a Rock and Roll oh, we superstar. We were so excited when we heard and, about this. Yeah. So excited. You know when you watch somebody... Every night in your living oh, you, room. Okay. And then there he is. Oh, we're talking about Chewy. Now. Yeah, big okay. rock star in the room for I'm me. I'm a rock, rock star. <laughs> but to me, you are. <laughs> See? <laughs> Woo -hoo! Woo -hoo! No. This is and then we have another rock star in the she's, room here. Yeah, she's a real rock and roller. <laughs> she's a amazing person. I read all about you. I feel like I know you so well. This am I supposed Victoria, to say who I am? No, Victoria <laughs> Asher. I was—I didn't know if Deborah Yay. was going to do it. Victoria is in this amazing band. We should play it right after. And then brought Cobra here Starship. by our dear, dear friend and blogger, right? right. So Natasha so Damo. Hi. Back for another round of torture with yeah. us. <laughs> so, uh, so it's a fun show. Right, we have great. Co you guys are all friends. I think you've known each other. I know Natasha and. Victoria, do you guys like I hang just out? Met Chewy. Oh, you, you just, just met, met Chewy. Yeah. Okay, so we're but all Chewy and Natasha are friends. We are friends. Yeah, we're friends. But right. Natasha and I are like this. We're just she's okay. like my arm. Well, yeah. I'm just gonna start by saying I loved watching you on Chelsea. Do you ever get sick of hearing that? By the way, uh, no, not really. I really, I, I liked it. I liked it. Oh, yeah. of course. Yeah. Because I often wonder, do you ever really just go, oh God, another one? You know, but it's true. You were my favorite. You get stopped I you everywhere you go. Have great comedic timing. And I thought you were terrific with her. So many times I would have kicked her if I were you. And <laughs> you didn't. And you were just, just had a no, great sense of humor. I was just you. part of the show, you know. Uh, it, it's, we, we, we create comedy. Yeah. So, yeah. <clears> that's part of it. I'm going to guess it, it evolved naturally, though, right? Because just your relationship with her on the air just seemed to have its own personality, but did it evolve on its own? You know? Or yeah, were, yeah. yeah. It's, uh -huh. it's, but she's the most beautiful, kind person ever. Yeah. Yeah. yeah she's, just... she's, a, she's funny. I mean, I watch the show every night. You know, it was just, I was rolling on the floor half the time and by myself, you know, ah, you know, so great. Do you, <laughs> do people stop you everywhere you go to, even now? I mean, oh, what's been the strangest thing? They say thing? hi and they, they say, they want to shake my hand yeah. and uh, so take you pictures. You know how it is. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm just as yeah. big a star as you are. No doubt about it. <laughs> 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 I'm joking. So I'm sure. But I, I know that when I would watch, you just said she's a, got a really big heart, a really good person. You know, to be a comedian, that's really hard. You have to be able to feel things and be observant of what's going on, right, with the people well, around you. Well, she is like yeah. that, but she yeah. likes to give, too. She's like... Yeah. I mean, she... You know what? Uh, when I first start the... Sh I'm, can I... Do, do I have a minute? Yeah, yes. lots of minutes. Go for it. You, you could talk the whole hour. Everybody okay, else will just listen. Okay, this is like <laughs> a, a real story that happened to me with her. Yeah. Um... When I first started the show, I was so broke, like so broke that I didn't have any money to buy me a soda. Wow. And uh, when I, uh, and when they called me, they chew, we're going to start the show in a week. I didn't have transportation either because I just came back from Mexico. And I was in Mexico like for six months, you know, just living my life over there. Right. And I came back with no money, nothing. And um, so I bought this old, old beat up car. I told Natasha about, about <laughs> this. And uh, every day I I had to put like a quarter of oil to go to work. Oh every my goodness. Day, oh and my one goodness. day she asked me for a, for a ride. I was, of course. <laughs> <laughs> Can you put in the oil? <laughs> and uh, yeah. And, uh, oh my goodness. Uh, when I, I opened the door and uh, she looked at the car and uh, like, chewy. Can, can I say? Can yeah, I? Yeah, sure. You can curse you can as say much as you want. Oh, okay. God knows I do it the whole yeah, time. Yeah. Uh, 
she's like, Chuy, what the fuck is this? <laughs> <laughs> it's like, it's my car. Don't worry about it. I'm going to take you home. Oh, my God. My car was so beat up. It didn't have a radio. The seats are tore up. Oh. And uh, we were driving to towards her house, and she's like, you know, no, 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 no. Let's go car shopping. Wow. I oh. was, no, 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 I don't have enough money. We just barely started the show, and it was our, like our second, second, second week. week. Okay. What'd you get? And um, so we, we went car shopping, and she bought me a brand new Yaris Toyota. Oh, my wow. gosh. I knew she's she had like, a good heart. I, like, like, where's I, the I want for you Chelsea? to sa- save, uh, drive safe. That's for yeah. right, Chelsea. She's yeah. that class. She's that kind of woman. Wow, she's a great... I could tell. She. I, I feel like I should be friends with her. I, I don't know should. why. I just I mean, feel like I know her. I want to know her. <laughs> she's very close to one of my friends. Is I'll she? tell you who she is later. Her name's Shelly. You know Shelly? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Yeah. she just seems um, like... like glad you shared that she's, story because she... She, she she's, loves to give to uh, charities. Yeah, she's a she's good like heart. $100,000, $200,000 to charities. Wow, I mean. that says a lot. And to us, like she helped us so much. One day, this kid had a ticket, like a parking ticket. Right. And uh, she goes like, what the fuck is this? What did you do this? <laughs> He's like, oh, I'm trying to pay, but I don't have enough money. She took the ticket and asked uh, her assistant to pay the ticket. Oh, my gosh. That's amazing. What? Giant heart. Wow. Yeah, you, those are great stories. It's nice to know people at that level do give and back. When she that. fired her first assistant, it was a very good friend of mine. She's like, okay, you have to leave because I don't need you anymore. But uh, here, I want you to buy this car for you. Oh, my gosh. I'm going to work for her. I want to go work for her. Hook me up. I like her. I'm serious. She's an amazing person. That's a great story. And you guys are still close? Oh, yeah. yeah. I have to tell you, if it makes you feel any better, when I first met my husband, his car was (laughs) a disaster. Um, no roof on it and when he picked me up for a date I think it was our first date we were going to the Tropicana in Atlantic City because I was working at a little teeny radio TV station and he was at an even smaller radio station and um, he had a black uh, garbage bag Misty you know John he had a black garbage bag that he put on top of his Monza it was a Monza and I remember keep thinking it from raining inside I get in this thing so I got in and I'm thinking oh my god man my mom was right and I remember she met him and she said this man is never gonna make anything of himself I'm like I know but he's kind of funny because it's, it's still on the radio now uh-huh. but does not have a Monza with a hole in it and um, the bag blew off as we were driving <laughs> and it started raining and I was just back, <laughs> backing up you know to where the window was so I get it, you know what I mean? He could oh, not yeah. afford a car. When he finally could afford one, he got a used so Hyundai, hard. and that broke down and yeah. been there. So, um, you oh know. Oh, my gosh. That's... Yeah, so. And you still well, married him, huh? Yeah, and now, you know, she, <laughs> cha- she changed my life. She changed your life, really and, changed uh, it. Yeah, and now, and what's, uh, what do you think you're going to do next? If you could pick something, what would it be? Uh, show now, uh, one of uh, another uh, company... Uh, sold. Uh, I, I was telling Natasha, we did. We shoot this uh, pilot like eight years ago, right? And uh, they come in like two months. Two months ago, that uh, they sold that show that we shoot eight years ago. Oh, how so could you never know when something's going to surface, it, right? It Don't. And they wow. Got, they sold eight, uh, ten episodes. What's the name so of it? Can you yeah. shoot it yet? We're going to start shooting next month. Is it a comedy? Can it's you give a comedy. A, you really can't share yet, but can no. you give us the, okay. So is it like a sitcom or what is it? Kind of. Yeah. Okay. So what happens yeah, if you yeah, show up looking? I mean, you're adorable, but older. You know, it's eight years. I no, mean, but that, yeah. that's just the treatment, right? Like you pitched it, and now it came to fruition. Is that what you're saying? Mm-hmm. Like it was created eight years ago, and now it's a go. Yes, that's cool. Right? Can I we love be in that. it? We can be in it. <laughs> of course. Can we well, be extras? If she wants a lead role, I'll just take an extra. Part. I say this all the time to Natasha. I'm like, so you're putting me in your film, and I never really get a yes or not, Natasha. Is that a yes? <laughs> she or knows no? how to- totally yes. Oh, okay. All right. We love you, Natasha. That on there. How about you? Yes or no? Of course. All right. Definitely. Now it's two times. Two so times. Now two get ready, Victoria. Going. She's going to be want, want to be in your <laughs> next music video. <laughs> what? Oh, music video for me? Yes. Victoria. All right. I just got three jobs out of this. This is very, very cool. Yeah, you can be I, I want people, Victoria Asher, I mean, I've, I I just think you're amazing. Your music is great. We're going to play something. And you really come from royalty. Your dad, 
Tell us about your growing up, your dad I, and your life. And <laughs> it's just so exciting. Yeah. I know you're probably sick of it, but it's interesting. No, no, no. Um, no, it's definitely been uh, an interesting upbringing. Uh, my father's been in the music business forever. And, uh, and my, who is he? Who's dad? My, my father is Peter Asher, and he is a Six. producer, and he was a musician in the 60s. Um, British and, came from, you know, with the whole movement of British coming to the United States with the rock and roll of the 60s with, you know, the absolutely. Beatles, right? Like he was in British, that group. British, uh, the Rook. called British Explo Explosion. The explosion, yeah. Right. I mean, that's fast. I love the what old pictures of him. What a fun house so growing up, right? You must yeah. have all kinds of people in and out of your home, right? Definitely. And my mother, she's been collecting artwork forever and she was actually in the um, the Banksy documentary, Exit Through the Gift Shop, because oh. she was one of the first people to discover Banksy. Oh, um, that's exciting. So I have two your, very cool parents. And your basically. aunt, too. is She's a legend. Yeah. Jane. So she was engaged to Paul McCartney. Isn't that, that cool? So and all those old pictures, I, I looked at them last night. If anybody should get on and Google, because I love that era. Yeah. I, I should have been, that I was a baby was then, cool. so it doesn't count. But it was very cool. I want to wear that hair with the hair up like this. and that. I just love, the, your aunt was gorgeous. I, I wonder if I would have been she cool was, enough for that time. You know I don't what I think, mean? I, I know I wasn't, so that's probably. Well, I just know how bad I am at doing my own hair now. <laughs> I wonder how I could have done it the then. Yeah. <laughs> like, but, I, I think I would have failed in that department. Yeah. <laughs> um, so all this is just part of you. And, you know, now look at you. You're a well-known musician. Yeah. Lead singer. I mean, for yeah. Cobra Starship is the name of the band. Yeah. And we should play the clip. Can we, we do that? Clip? So people yeah, know absolutely. who we're talking. I am, I'm not in. I think if you get, I saw the clip earlier. Oh, you're not, in, I'm that not part? in that clip. But oh. um, well, maybe we could start it earlier. It anyway. We should start it earlier, maybe. Yeah, back uh, it up a little. Or is it, we, yeah. Either way, it, I'm not in that video that that much. Yeah, I, but I, I, I didn't think anyway. so. So <laughs> there's other famous person there. We, we have. Are yeah, we let's to go. Play? Okay, let's, let's show because it's bit. a great song. Cause if you wanna gotta know what you need well, then I'm your man. And if I listen, I can hear you through my radio. though but you're that's the, such a great song we did see someone it's else famous great, in there i don't know if you song. noticed him robin williams was in there yeah i did not and notice i know he's in it but i didn't he see has him. the beard in there he has the beard yeah and you were so good friends your Rob, family yes robin williams was an extremely close family friend and um he came by on set to come say hi to me oh, sweet. and you put and him I in. asked him if he would actually be in it and he was like of course you can't do anything Could what a back nice that up? i'd love to see him again you don't have to play the whole thing but if you can find I, him. he he seems like a terrific person i did meet you, him a couple times I, he was I fabulous did too. i he was, interviewed him and i found him to be just a deep soul a really funny soul. really funny uh, even i mean i don't know him personally but if you were doing an interview, he turned it on. He gave oh, yeah. you, you know, as a journalist, he gave you something. And that's respectable, you know, in our business. When we had to interview people and they were just like they were, you would expect them to be. And that yeah. was refreshing, you know. No, he's one of the, he was one of the most genuine, wonderful there humans he is. that have ever existed. That's basically. amazing. That, so, you know, I'm sorry for your loss, too. I mean, yeah. that, that's, it that's must have been very difficult for your family. Yeah, and no, I still miss him every day. But um, it's great that you got to be in that video. I can't. That's it's was, beautiful there. I when love was that? that? When did you film uh, this? Um, God, a couple years that? ago. Or that was, was a couple it? years ago. Yeah. Um, but uh, he was doing the show on Broadway during that time, okay. so that's why he had the beard. beard? Yeah. Wow, uh, what a great! It's a beautiful shot of him. I love that. Yeah, but your music <laughs> is great, and that's you're the lead singer of that band. No, oh, actually, not that so, song. No, okay. so the so we have all male members. Okay, I am the only girl, ah, and um, like it. lucky you. We have a male singer, <laughs> Gabe Saporta, um, okay. and I am working on my own solo music since then. But okay. um, actually, initially, my interest was always in film. Oh, so I was working in film, and then somehow I ended up following my father's path. No matter how much I tried not to. <laughs> <laughs> and um, I was going to NYU and uh, got it. Basically, Gabe found me on MySpace, really? through my music page that I totally didn't take seriously. Just never even touched my profile. He found it. He was searching for keyboardists in New York. Asked me to join, and I was on tour for eight years all over wow. the world. So what a great story! Yeah, and we're and we're still together. I mean, we're working on a fifth album. Uh, it's been a slow process. Right. A lot of kind of creativity have, have happened, but. Um, mm -hmm. 
yeah, I'm working on my own thing on the side and getting back into film. You're basically. busy. So you're doing your own thing mu- uh, musically, too. I mean, I am, and yeah. film, too. That's exciting. Yeah. And Are you going to New York, journey. aren't you, to I am. Jimmy Fallon? Oh, actually, yeah. So I'm, uh, I'm going to New York on the 20th, and I'm going to be on Jimmy Fallon and... Two other shows, and I can't believe I'm forgetting it right now. Oh, please. I'm so bad. I, I don't so want good. Watch I do many the same night thing. shows. Yeah. But I'm performing with uh, Steve Martin and That's Edie Brickell. so cool. Edie Brickell. I yeah. remember oh, her. My, when are you going to be there? I swear I'm going to be um, there. I'm there the 20th, and I think the show is the 23rd. Well, we'll be looking for that. Yeah. That's exciting. That that you have to come really back and tell exciting. us what it's like. You know? Yeah, absolutely. See, you're used to this uh, You know, growing up. I mean, tell us like your life. In your house, I mean, who stopped over? I mean, you were friends with Robin Williams, yeah. And, you're, and this was your probably Paul um, McCartney. People like that come over your David house. David Bowie, Peter oh. Gabriel, uh, James Taylor is my godfather. Oh which my goodness, she's a massive James Taylor oh, fan. Oh, me too. So I, I told her, I said, please do not introduce me to him because uh, <laughs> you'll, you'll, I'll, I'll just lose it. I'll absolutely lose it. I think music people are the are some of the coolest. Yeah. I really say because I, our friend Chelsea's friend, and is also my friend. It's funny how we never really connected. You go over to my friend Shelley's home, and you just never know who's walking through the door. It's mm-hmm. interesting. It's eclectic. Um, sometimes they're on. Sometimes they're off. Usually off. And I just I love meeting them. They're, it's yeah. almost, it's very different than meeting an actor. It's just really um, that's a talent I could I don't have. I don't right. understand how you um, make music. How you write music. Very I just, creative. I it's mean, really creative. You, yeah, no, it's a lot of fun. Do um, you have a studio in your house? Well, maybe your parents do. I don't know. No, or, actually, you, because things are so easy now, it's like, yeah. I mean, it's out of a laptop. You don't even I mean, need... That's right. I forgot amazing. about that. Our albums, We're having trouble with our social media. I can't imagine how oh, yeah. <laughs> you do that. With, we cannot get our shit together with our social media. It's embarrassing. I swear to God. <laughs> it's another we're, day of conversation. The, well, this is the thing that's crazy is that, I mean, our albums were usually recorded from the road because we were touring so extensively mm-hmm. that um, we would be literally like just passing around a hard drive back and forth to... All of us, because we were touring nonstop, so we had no time to go into a proper wow. uh, a studio and and do all that. But um, now you you can just do it and so email you, it, whatever. Yeah, yeah. Do you just sort of hear stuff in your head and write it? Or do you do you write it with other people? Yeah. What do you I mean, do? sometimes it's sometimes it comes from a lyrical idea. Sometimes it comes from just like a random kind of keyboard part that I come up with. Um, and I guess it's kind of the same with film. It's like you know, some ideas will just come from you from like random bits of inspiration, and you never know where it's where you, it's going to happen. Does your dad influence you with your music? Um, uh, yeah, he absolutely. seems like a nice I guy. Mean, just from the photos, you see him; he's, he's so friendly. What a looking. cool yeah. house! No, he's yeah. great. And a funny fact is that Austin Powers was modeled I after my father. I thought so. so. <laughs> Didn't you tell me that? Sad. And I looked at the photos. Somebody should Google him because yeah. he, he looks just like him in a couple photos. Oh, yeah. that is great. Do we yeah. have a Austin shot of pa- her dad? If you type we, in we Peter, to, if you just Google Peter Asher, Austin you'll Powers, you'll see him. He looks exactly <laughs> like Austin Powers. That's what I mean. The coolest thing in the world. People are just cool people. They can sort of get away with looking. Does your dad? Does he sort of laugh about all that? Like. What his life yeah totally bit. he seems um, like a fun guy <laughs> no he's great he's really fantastic um and actually since the band hasn't been touring i've been do- doing uh primarily main title sequences for tv shows now so i don't know if you guys have seen orange is the new black oh that's a great show yeah. but awesome. uh, i did that opening title sequence ah. with this guy thomas cobb so we cool. and those are all real ex-con women is the interesting part so that's really cool the stories on that set were incredible oh i bet you probably had a good time yeah do you do any acting people. do you do any acting at all uh, no, it's something that I'm open to, but not, I haven't really done much acting. We act on Dub Smash. We Dub Smash together. Yeah, we're really good at okay, Dub Smash. Okay, what's Dub Smash? That's how old we are. Or I am. I speak I for myself. Dub Smash. It's, uh, I, oh, that's when you, <laughs> what is that again? It's a ridiculous app where it's various different sound <laughs> clips and you record your Voice videos, over, oh, videos and you just pretend that you're doing it. Basically. Oh, that's right. I've seen yeah. that on um, Fallon, does it? Doesn't he do a but version it is. of that? like? It yeah. is so so ridiculously amusing <laughs> when you're by yourself. You're like, oh, oh, look at me! It's myself, like pretending to be someone else. Oh, oh, oh. Like, oh that's so, so funny. Uh, I, that there is he cool. is. There he is. I mean, the one picture really looks is, like yep. Austin Powers. Oh my god! I mean, it's really funny. It's no way. That's I can't dad. imagine. Yeah, that's her dad. How cute! But how old was he there? Probably that Sad. was probably in the sixties. Um, look, look at how he's dressed, like, right? Probably in his teens or something. Yeah. Nineteen, I think. Um, funniest cute, thing cute actually glasses. is that my parents originally met backstage at a Peter and Gordon show when mm-hmm. my mother was about twelve years old and knee high socks. Are you kidding? And so she cute. was a fan of his. And then you know, cut two years and years later, they suddenly meet, sit next to each other at a dinner party. How did they meet through your 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 dad and Paul McCartney? Did they meet through. Your aunt Jane, yes, his sister. when they were dating. So I wondered I think if they, they might have known each other before. Yeah, maybe sure. because they were in the music scene in 
you know, England, and they probably all knew each other, the ones that were rising to the top in their career. Yeah. I, I, what, I would love to be in a fly on the wall back then. Yeah, uh, same. What they did, you know? What totally. cool time. But yeah, what does she cool say time. about Paul McCartney? That's kind of cool. <laughs> she never brings him up. Really? So, <laughs> Do you yeah. ever bring him up? Do you ever say, look at, um, look at that, it looks just like him. My aunt and I don't quite have that type of relationship, to be oh, honest, but okay. um, she is a bit closed off when it comes to the Paul McCartney thing. She's probably sick of hearing it. it oh, maybe. that's yeah. pretty cool. Maybe well, she I think, just wants I think to too, that he might have uh, cheated on her, so, Aww. yeah. That okay. he was. I don't think really? he was. He was a. I don't think he was a well-behaved musician. That's just oh, gonna... isn't that something novel? <laughs> yeah, very unusual. <laughs> it almost seems impossible. You're traveling, and I guess you're young, Temptation. And handsome. I mean, and... that's how it is in the acting world. People get yeah. on set, and they're working together for three months. And you actually get very close. Acting, right. you get close with people, right? So. And li- physically too. I mean, let's say you're in a love scene with somebody. Chewy, yeah. could you handle that love scene with somebody? Chewy. Of course he could. Uh, I know. I want to hear. I'll try. You try. <laughs> twist your arm. You'll That's try. Like asking if a cat would meow. <laughs> <laughs> I but I it. read you were the first Latino sidekick. Is that right? Like, yes. do you hold some pride with that? Or uh... definitely. Well, I'm, I'm proud of myself because yeah. I. Uh, like I said, she opened like a lot the, of doors. A lot of doors. Right. And uh, now, right now, I have uh, I have uh, um, an acting school, too. You do? Yeah. Really? Like a, a, you a, teach? Little, a little, very little acting academy. And no, I don't teach. I hired the teachers. Okay. And um, what's the name of Where it? Where is it? It's yeah. uh, Bravo's Academy. Mm-hmm. Bravo's Acting Academy. Okay. And it's on... Uh, Fifty four twenty one Santa Monica Boulevard. Is it for all Los ages? Angeles. Or kids, Two. youth, or all ages? All ages. Okay. Yeah, and uh, it's bilingual. Oh, that's good. And mm-hmm. uh, yeah, anybody can come and mm-hmm. check it out. And uh, so yeah. you're doing that. I'm doing that um, right now. And the you've next, got this show. The eight episodes. Next episode month we're going to start shooting the ten episodes. It's a uh, I'll, uh, it's like a homelet, like a homelet and a hedge brown saving the world. That's the name of Wait, the Wait, what's that say again? It's like what? Like an omelet. Omelet. An omelet. omelet? Like an omelet. Uh, and eggs and, and egg hash, omelet. And hash brown. Hash brown. Omelets yeah. and hash brown. We've already so talked about waffles. Together. Right. Now we're talking So you're eggs. saying they together. go together, but they're different. That's what but, you're saying? Yeah. Like, what are you, a hash brown or an omelet? I'm hash brown. Anyway. Yeah, good guess. <laughs> <laughs> Who's an omelet? Who would be an omelet? Another guy. Oh, another I've guy. I've never heard yeah. a show like kind of compared to. Well, we've talked waffles. Omelets. Now we're talking well, yeah, omelets. No, omelets. I'm getting hungry. Um, exactly. I was about to say. <laughs> that. I'm starving. Yeah. So yeah. that's cool. I mean, you so, have a very uh, interesting life, and you know, how much do you socialize with Chelsea still? Yes. She knows about your show. She's probably real supportive. And uh, probably in a couple of weeks, I'm going to start a line of uh, coconut products. Coconut. Yeah. What mm-hmm. kind of products? Like like uh, uh, like the drinking? whole coconut, yeah, and uh, water coconut, milk coconut, that, oil coconuts. Would you have a coconut I mean, farm? Is that why you're doing this? <laughs> uh, <laughs> my partner in Mexico, yes, yes, oh, we do. So I'm no, laughing, we but we're not kidding. Well, no, no, know. no, it's true. Actually, yes. Look, George uh, Clooney did it with um, tequila. I, you're going to be the mm-hmm. coconut guy. He's going to be I'm, just secreting coconut. I'll be the love coconut it. guy. Okay, no. but coconut, I love and, it. And, and it's so healthy and everything. I mean, coconut oil is great for everything. Skin, you can hair. use it on anything. I no. started using yeah. it. Recently. I read. Remember the woman who was in here who was talking about natural products for yeah. your skin. Mm-hmm. She said, if you do anything, use coconut. Eat coconuts. Put coconut on your is the brush your teeth with it. Oh, really? It's a lubricant. You can use it for anything. <laughs> no, really. it's I, a don't, I don't know what that is, Natasha. Really? I learned this last week. I had no idea. No idea. You can use it in your hair. I use teeth. it in my hair today, actually. Yeah, you can what use it. What kind of lubricant are you talking about over here? <laughs> <laughs> I know. Like, look at like her. Like lotion on the skin. Uh, yeah, I, I just turning red again. I, my I mind went our, the other way. I love our board off. I wish I could put the camera on it. We need an extra camera for him. Every week he turns. Does everybody else do this to you? Uh, and with their shows, speak. Uh, well, or is it I'll, just us? I'll give you, you. You have the the definitely monopoly on that. All Good. right, we're I'm, glad. We I want proud that. I love him. He's the best. Embarrassed I Kurt. That's what we like to do. Yes. Oh so my God. I read though that life wasn't always easier for you, right? I mean, growing no. up or just as a young adult. Can you share anything about that or feel like uh, it? Or? Growing up, it wasn't too easy. I mean, I never grew up, but I mean, getting <laughs> old, getting old, it wasn't too easy. <laughs> But uh, thank God, 
I always been with good people, surrounded by very good people since I came to the United States. Mm -hmm. uh, I started high school and uh, I was so embarrassed of my height. Really? I was a very low, low... Because you, you don't come across like you. that self now. Self-esteem. Who self doesn't have... I mean, I have self-esteem Very low self-esteem. I didn't you even do. want to wear the PE clothes. You know what? Like I'm shorts. I yeah. never wear shorts before. Really? Oh, no, no, no. You no. were too self-conscious. You know, and um, that's... It's, a, it's great that you admit that because look at yeah. people out there. We always try to teach someone something each week, whatever it is, like... Uh, that you can have self you could have self esteem issues and be as successful as you are. I mean, you know, well, there's someone young right now, probably feeling some way, and giving them hope is yeah. what we need to do. Or a right? small person. Definitely, I mean, yeah. what do you call yourself with with your height? You call yourself a small person, tiny person. What do you What do you like to say? Someone. What's politically else, correct? Someone else who's a little, little people. Little yeah, people. Yeah, okay. Little people. Uh, you know, maybe you're giving that person a lot of hope. Uh, you know, to yeah, feel a little I better. Hope like, I do because. For us, it's hard because, especially the I, I kids. I can imagine. Well, everything. When we were kids, are, are the 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 kids are our worst enemies. Yeah. Oh, it's true. Oh, 100 percent. Our worst yeah. enemies. You, you get bullied. I was made, see, the funniest thing is I was made fun of for the opposite because I was too tall. Really? So my whole me life, too. I How was tall. How tall are you? Yeah. Five eleven. Oh, so. okay. You got me beat. I'm five nine. <laughs> I always felt like I towered over everybody. Right? Yeah. So well, what I, were your I nicknames? Unfortunately, did, did people call um, you? You know, people were just really mean. They always just told me I was ugly. Told me I was way too tall. Told me that I'd never make it anywhere. Oh. And the best though was that it was like I was told I'd never get into NYU. I Hello. Got into NYU. Hello. No problem. I'm in NYU. And I was told that I shouldn't pursue music because there's no money in it and I'm Who not going to make it successful. Okay, let me just say something. So, forget everyone else. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> that's, my, that's my husband the best uh, with the hole in the roof uh, was told awful voice you'll never make it in radio. Yeah. Bing, he's a pretty well-known radio guy. Yeah. Um, I think for those people who are told they'll never make it, that means go do in. it because you're likely they're to make in. it. You know, it also, don't you think it pushes you though to say, "Watch me," okay? Well, Here's maybe that. it can. Well, do you both. know what? No, see, I have yeah. the problem of being like, "Oh, they're right." Yeah, oh, yeah. really? Oh. I better just. I got what it. Am I doing? I got it. I'm a little like that too, yeah. but deep inside, I'll be like, "Wait a minute." Yeah. You know, same. once I let that pass, mm -hmm. I'm like, right, and that's yeah. why I love talking to you because this one seems to. Sort She's of have got it her together. act together, but she yeah. only has it together because she works on it because she didn't. Does yeah. That make sense. Yeah. It's hard. And it's hard. But so once you have the self-esteem, the more you give it to yourself, the more you can get it. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. Like you grow from it. You learn. So I think it's remarkable. Well, just even anybody, the, even me and me and this girl right here, we kind of came together because of our is past self-esteem issues. Thank God for the self-esteem. Yeah. You have a great yeah. friendship. Uh, honestly, it was like we connected in a way of like that we feel sometimes that we're like too sensitive for the world, you know, that we That's can be very easily affected by things. And I it was think part of what like brought us together. I think That's artists are like that. I think writers are like that. Creative, artists are like creative that. people. And then if yeah. you're with people who are very linear and they, they think in that way, they will look at other people who are very creative and they simply won't understand what's going on. Mm -hmm. um, I get that a lot. So You know, something else that goes with self-esteem, and Natasha and I were talking about it in the car ride when we were together recently, is reinventing yourself. And I think everyone in this room, you have to do that nowadays. You, you, you know, shows last or you're with this band or, you know, we move on from a job. You have to know how to do it. You need self-esteem to do it. But everyone here has had to do it. And I think it's a fascinating subject for everyone to think about what is your advice on reinventing yourself? Look, you're you're done with Chelsea Handler. Now I you're doing something else. I just thought of a else. new piece of advice, actually. But go ahead. Let's hear yours <laughs> I'd love first. to hear people's like, opinion on you how know you do what? it. My self-esteem was so low, low that uh, I was I started doing drugs. Oh. And, you uh, mean after the show? No, before. Before. Before, before okay. the show. I started doing drugs. And uh, when I tried that drug... I feel like I was six feet so tall, gigantic, so handsome, and uh, oh. incredible. And I became addicted. So addicted. then, la, I'm a recovery addict, and right. I've been clean and sober for 19 years. That's a major but accomplishment. It's still a struggle, Congratulations! Isn't it? Because sometimes and when you're not feeling great, don't you want to reach? For no, some, no, no. I uh, you go to you still I keep call, it Yeah, you call I, your sponsor or whatever. You know. Yes. And uh, but now it's like I love myself so much, and uh, hmm. I'm just trying to motivate everybody who's listening that uh, don't go through that door. 
-hmm. Love yourself. Don't go through that false door that I went to, through, because it's so hard to get out. It, you, it's the wrong direction. I almost was like homeless. Then I study, and I now I'm where I am because because you 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 stopped it. You stopped it, and people start helping me. See, I love your message. Uh, you're you're talking about, and I think even just to helping people to get that message out about don't go that direction is so don't important. Go that direction I mean, like it's just it's so important. So, yes. Well, it's hard once you've gone there to pick yourself up and do it. And that's lately I'm really looking at, you know, people you surround yourself with. That's that's key. They've got to be positive and really lift you up and make you feel like you do matter or get rid of them. Um, because I think a lot of times people spend too much time trying to get somebody to like them at work or like them as a friend. And you think, oh, why it's am so I wasting exhausting. my time? It yeah. It's like a bad oh, date. Like we've talked about time. that. It's a waste of time. And you spend a lot of time because you think, oh, what did I do wrong? But I think it's hard in the entertainment and the music business mm -hmm. because, you know, all eyes are on you. I couldn't <laughs> do it. I could tell you because I, I would be like, oh, someone said something bad about me. I'd just start crying. I mean, you know, being in the public eye, you really have to have self-esteem. Don't, Absolutely. I mean, I Victoria, mean, what's your, how do you handle that? I um, mean, well, it's funny because actually, I mean, I was planning always to go to the route of being a film director. And mm -hmm. so when I suddenly joined the band... I had I never knew about any kind of like online blogs or anything like that. And suddenly I joined the band and I had taken my first photos with the band and I'm exposed to this complete hatred Ugh. and complete tearing me apart. Mm. And I freaked out and I was like sobbing and I was like, what am I doing? I don't want to be in the public eye, mm. you know, all this stuff. And then, you know, eventually you just kind of learn like, it doesn't Forget matter. Forget what everyone says. Like, fuck them. Like, <laughs> you know, they're like pissed yeah. off because you're doing your own they're thing. They're jealous, most of them. Do you really feel that way? Like, if someone's writing something nasty, do you feel like, ah, forget it. I'm oh, really now, I mean, you do. now insults don't even touch me. Like, I just really? go like, you know, you're not worth my time. Because you realize most people are jealous. They want to be where you are. Don't you think? I mean, mm -hmm. and then you just. Well, this was, the, this was the most amazing thing that had happened to me was that my whole life I was told I couldn't do anything. I was the dork in school, whatever, made fun of, goth girl, all this stuff. Mm. And one of the best things was I had this girl, change her name to Stacy. Um, I had this girl, Stacy, who was so mean to me in school. Uh. And I saw her recently and she came up to me and she's like, you know what? I just wanted to tell you like that in school you were actually figuring it out and trying to come up with something creative to do with your life. And I was so mean to you and I tore you apart. And he's like, and she's like, I wish that. You know, I had done that because here I am having just like a, sh you know, shitty, like, Life. Normal, like bartending sort of. job, totally boring. I, you know, I hit my peak when I was in high school and now, you know, it's just downhill from yeah, here. Yeah, what'd you wow. say to her? And like, thank well, you, but you're still not going to be my friend. It's well, like, I actually <laughs> was like, you know what? Like, that is so awesome. At least she like, admitted it. Yeah. The fact that you are not acting like this big ego and that you're better than me still, like power to you. She you know? learned like, her lesson, you awesome. know, so that's, I guess, what we hope for, you know, so at least she admitted it too. I'm, you know, I think that's cool. But I have all these young girls that are reaching out to me all the time being like oh like you made me you know have have faith in the fact that I could be a, a female and a musician in the industry isn't and that nice everyone's so mean to me at school and I'm like you know what like people that are so mean to you you know like it'll only give you more strength later it's in nice life. that it people look up to you it is the hardest time to get through I have to I well mean, with I all have... the social media I have to say like oh. my kids are 13 oh. and you know whole other she, level of insecurity I, I, there I, Jesus. I, I, I'm like I didn't know I had to do any of this I, I no one knew who I was and I <laughs> No one cared. It was easy. You know, I lived in Cleveland, Ohio. No one, you know, we just didn't, nobody cared. It, there were clicks and weird stuff going on, but I, I was kind of like, I didn't care. So, but my daughter, you know, she would love you too, all three, because mm -hmm. she would look up to you. We need women like that to open up and say their story. And I've, that's why I bond with Natasha too, because she's out there telling people, you know, it's okay. Just get your, you know, this is what you do. It's easy to read these articles, but to see by example, which is both of you. Well, the cheese, and the cheese would save me, honestly. I mean, really? because, you know, still Aww. my weakness is still men. If I get my heart broken, <laughs> I am a miserable wreck. And yeah. this one, I found her blog because a friend of mine had sent it to me being like, oh my God, you have to read this article because I was devastated over a breakup. And started reading her, Hit her, you. It, her to touch your blogs. Heart. I it's like saved my life. I reached out to her, that's and so we cool. suddenly became really good friends. So. I was going to ask how you met. That, that's a great story. You meet right. some of the coolest people from I your do. blog. Let's I mean, face it. I really do. <laughs> her, your blog touches people. There's no question about it. Thank I mean, you. it really does. Uh, that's how I found you. Oh, but that says a lot. And I think you, you know, to be role models like that for women and men. I mean, and Chewy, what you've done is remarkable. I mean, to oh, get that get over the addiction and then be on Chelsea Handler show. I mean, I know it didn't happen that fast, but that's basically what happened to you. 
you you know you pulled it together and I it did. happened Thank i you. love that yeah. that makes me so happy we all have the I, tendency to be self-destructive it's a matter of just like yeah, sticking through it just i just it think out. it's difficult if yeah. you are naturally a sensitive person you know yeah. some people just aren't not na- don't naturally feel things as deeply and i think you have to work double and triple hard do you think so um to really get that out of you a little bit just so you can just make some progress do you know what mm-hmm. i mean i, and I think, think being hypersensitive opens you up that much more though to having real growth Mm -hmm. because you know no one would be here where they are at the table right now if they hadn't hit rock bottom emotionally or right physically or you know financially at some point right and I think you know a good theme of just everything we've been talking about is you know when you get knocked down whether it be someone else or an event that happens stop going to that person, the bully, the event, to try to validate your observation and use it to propel you forward. Why do people Mm -hmm. do that? Why do they always go back to the person who's knocking them down? I notice... I will even do that sometimes. Someone who's not so nice. Why? Go ahead. Tell I me. I think because you're hoping for know. a different result. You're hoping like, you oh, want to change it. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to call Maybe them. we're all control freaks. I got to tell you. Do you want to yeah. be the, accept- <laughs> you wanna be the exception no, to someone? No, you think so. Role. Not me. <laughs> I, I think so. I think we all have this hope that we could be the exception to someone's consistent rule that they've let out. Because if we can be, we're, we're special. She's always you know, laughing. What are you laughing about? What? You got, a ju- you got a story there. I see it. No, it's because like uh, uh, as an addict, I was thinking the same thing every time I, I like I was, I'm not gonna do this yeah for so long because when and then when I start this time is gonna be different this time is gonna be different so that's it's almost the same thing when yeah. you go to the same person I hope he changes it's, it's like an addiction uh, oh, yeah. to a you, person but then how do you, you oh sorry like, to my little thing here but <laughs> you know um, then how do you go to the other side. That's where the work is. You just have to mm-hmm. not look for that validation. I personally, I think that's the tough part when you're always criticized by someone who's trying to bring you down. Just say, "To hell with just that, that, Yeah. Well, you either get to a point where you have no choice but to do it, or you connect with someone that that helps you. I mean, you know, she helps me just as much as I've. I like ever your friendship. It seems so good. I mean, like you're no, both like adorable. Other. You're adorable. Yeah. No, I feel she, like I've she, known she, her she my whole life. life. <laughs> yeah. So, like, what's your no, personal life like? Uh, <laughs> in other words where's the, the two of us or yeah. oh, dating me? or um yeah i'm dating right now but basically my heart is still set on someone that doesn't want to be with me so okay so how like, are we getting through that i have there? to call her all the time and i'll be a sobbing wreck sometimes and uh and then somehow i managed not to reach out and but you could write I good music forward. from that emotion right maybe absolutely you look, at sam, into it. look at sam smith right mm-hmm. i love when he always when he won the grammy and he was saying you know the guy who broke up with him Mm -hmm. You know, thank God, because if he didn't, he wouldn't be, he wouldn't have written the song and he wouldn't be standing there. And it's true. I mean, I think that's what happens from like all life's tragedies, unfortunately. I mean, I don't think that you have to be in a tragedy or in a depression in order to come up with something good. But a lot of times that does propel you onto different things. And it also makes you get your life together in different ways. And it lets you know, like your mistakes. And I don't know. I think that's kind of. How about you? We keep plugging forward. Go down. You dating? You got anybody in your life that's really special? No, not really. I just like to have lots of friends. Yeah, and yeah. what do you do I for like f- that? What do you do for fun? I like that too, actually. Oh, I go have I, I do everything, whatever comes up. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. He goes. It does. You're a good dancer, I, right? You like dancing? I love to dance. I love to dance too. I'm I love a good dancer. Dance. I love to dance. I yeah. go crazy dancing, and I love it. Yeah. Love music and dance. Makes me really I happy. I like to travel and. Uh, go to yeah. your coconut farm. Yeah. I can't wait to see the coconut oh, product. I'm telling you, that'll be cool. Gonna That's going to be a success, uh, though. I'll bring it here when I... Wait, yeah, you come back with the product. Yes. I can't wait. And Victoria, I want you to come back when you have your next... I want to hear about Jimmy Fallon and can you come back? Yeah, absolutely. Really? Oh, are you kidding? I would love to come back well, as much as possible. It will, are, I mean, you on, I, are you on a show back? On. Yeah. I mean, well, I'd like also, to hear you... You know, When can we hear the band? Are they playing out here? Um, unfortunately, things are, like, are a bit mm-hmm. up in the air with the band okay. um, because we had two members that decided to produce instead, so they left, so we had two new members... So it's all a bit like a bit of like figuring things out. Right. That's why I've been like mostly pursuing my own kind of solo stuff while while helping with the band stuff as well. Um, but I'm actually planning to the second I finish the edit to this music video, <laughs> I am planning to release my single. Oh, so, amazing! Well, then it's when will have you be, on for that? Because I'd love to have her in for that. <laughs> I think we should have a I launch party in the afternoon. Yeah, totally. Bring out the champagne, pop the cord, oh, we can have her come and sing. That's a big deal, right? Would yeah. you? Would we, you? We have the mics for it. 
Would you be able to come and sing and do a little bit? Here? Yeah, totally. That would I be would do that really, really cool. All right, we're doing that. Right. We're gonna have like That'd a huge awesome. launch party. So Great. when will that be? Like when is that coming up? Um, I gotta figure it out. I have to send the song over to my managers, all that, and so it's a little time. I know, out. believe me, I know how that works. So yeah. it could take a little time. But yeah, it's, it's but all it's a matter ready. of getting this this video done. I have to sh shoot some new things for it, but and that's fun because you know film. So I'm hoping to do it within cool. like the month. Oh, month, two months. So, yeah. Oh my gosh, you have a lot of yeah. exciting things. You yeah, guys are we'll so see. talented. Everybody in this <laughs> room, good for you. Really. everybody, and your show. Do you know where they're going to be um, recording it? Where they're going to be taping it? No, not yet. And you don't no. know where it's going to. But I air, come back. Right? You'll come yeah, back. No, I really want you back. You bring the coconut really product, and we'll. And we'll Chelsea. see a clip of the oh, new yeah. show. If you want to bring Chelsea, or maybe I'll see you at the <laughs> friend's house her. at Chelsea. I, I want to be friends with Chelsea. That's my goal in life. Oh, she's awesome. I like her. I, I like what she did. And I think person. that's fabulous. It's good people to know that. You know, I, she's just Very super talented. People. So, gosh, we're so excited. Everybody came in. Yeah. What a fun, yeah, what what a a fun, fun show. Oh, this was oh my awesome. God, we're honored. This is such a big deal. What, what a great... Uh, well, thanks for having us. Yeah. yeah, and telling, sharing your personal side. That's That's really important. Yeah. Thank you. Anytime. Right. I said I give a bit too much personal sign. No, we like that. <laughs> that's how way. other people. I'm the same way. And the, and it's people, just like oh, blah. I know, <laughs> but if you don't, then what's the that's point? The yeah. I'm like uh, perpetual foot and mouth all the time. I know, yeah. but I if you don't, it. then what's the point? The show doesn't have any purpose or meaning if you don't it's do true. something like that. So anyway, thank you for being here, everybody. Thank you. What thank a fun you. show. Our Let's first what's yeah. up. Yeah. I mean, what's from up is what's up. up. <laughs> what's up? So that's I don't know. Okay. Should we say that again? We gotta keep yeah. that. Oh yeah, would you open. do that? Yeah, what's up, bitches? <laughs> do it again, I swear. Can we use that a little in our open? We're gonna collect and like, we'll really Victoria cool. do it too. Go ahead. What's up, bitches? Victoria, would you do that? What's up, bitches? I love it. I like that. In fact, that should be our new name. Let's change it again. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, you know what? What's, what's up, up bitches? bitches? Just in case, can you do a what's up and can you do a yeah. what's up? Okay. What's up? What's up? <laughs> I like the bitches better. But I like anyway, bitches. All right, everybody. Thanks for tuning in. Woo. We'll figure out what we go with. It's the first what's of like up? a couple of what's ups. <laughs> and we'll see you back next week. Thanks again for being here for What's Up with Deborah and Linda. Bye. Woo -hoo. Let's go. Let's go.